welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. So on Twitter just recently, um, really just last night, I saw this um, situation go down. And there's actually somebody who posted a question because this um, this issue arose and they didn't actually know what was going on. And so somebody in their comment section posted a link to an article and to videos concerning two people. One of them is Amanda Stenberg. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. And the other is a New York Times critic, movie critic, basically, uh, named Lena Wilson. Now, apparently, Amanda was in a movie called Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. And in the movie, she said herself, like I said in the in the videos that was posted, that she had to wear, um, well, not necessarily that she had to, I guess, but that she was wearing a tank top. Now... Some women have big boobs. Some women have small boobs. We all should know this by now. We're adults. If you have big boobs as a woman, certain shirts that you wear, quite naturally, it's going to look a little bit different on you than it would on somebody who has smaller boobs. And sometimes people kind of label that as them being fast or, you know, they, they label them certain things. And it's just that it's, you know, some young women develop faster. Let's just put it that way. Okay, some, some women, they just have more up top. And just because they have on a certain shirt doesn't mean that they should be labeled anything. And I get it. Like I said, some women with more up tops, so to speak, will, you know, kind of refrain from wearing certain tops. Because, you know, I had a friend who she had double D's and she was saying every time I put on certain shirts, people look at me like I'm a slut because I have, you know, big boobs. So, you know, there's just certain shirts that I don't wear. But in this movie, she said that she was wearing a tank top in this particular video and she was saying that the critic lena wilson basically in her you know criticism of the movie so to speak said that the movie was and i'm roughly quoting what she said a 95 minute advertisement of cleavage now i get it it is the role of a critic a movie critic to criticize okay to pick stuff apart i get it but even with that like I, I i think i've said this before don't get so wrapped up in your job that you overstep you know what i'm saying like don't get so wrapped up in i'm doing my job that you do or say something that you should have never done but that being aside just because you're a movie critic and you get paid to criticize movies does not mean that everybody has to agree with how you criticize it people can say oh well, i thought that, that was stupid like well why would you say that like well obviously this 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 and xyz and this that and the third you know like people just like they have the right to criticize and they get paid for it people have the right to you know say what they say about the criticism so to speak now apparently lena wilson is gay that's been put out there already and amanda DM'd Lena Wilson after she saw that, you know, that critic write, that criticism that she wrote concerning the movie. And she DM'd her, which, um, so I'm going to say this before I continue. I don't know why we've gotten into the age of people leaking and exposing DMs, but it's quite immature and unnecessary. Now, I can understand if somebody was like threatening you through your DMs. Or if somebody's husband was trying to hit you up and you're like, I'm exposing this for some kind of self-protection. I can understand that. But all the rest of that stuff, like I said, it's just, it's a bit immature to me. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, Amanda DM'd Lena Wilson. And in jest, she said something to the effect of, well, if you wouldn't have been looking at my boobs the whole time, maybe you could have actually seen the movie. Now, again, I say that she said that in jest. And even she said that she said that in a joking manner, thinking that she would find it funny because something I didn't even know that Amanda is also gay. I did not know that. And so she thought that she was, you know, like I said, in jest, saying something funny that Lena Wilson would relate to. But Lena Wilson took it, I guess, as a disrespect and shots fired and then labeled her homophobic. And I don't even know if she knew that Amanda was gay. Maybe she did. Maybe she didn't. But she just, I feel like she jumped the gun a bit. 
You know, like I feel like some people like they don't read situations the right way and they're very quick to um they're very quick to say and do things. You know, sometimes before you're so quick to put something out there, you have to take a step back and analyze the situation. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, I think that she just she misread the situation a little too quickly and put that out there. And I don't think that she should have done that. If she didn't like the comment, if she didn't think it was funny, if she felt offended by it, she should have direct messaged her or said like, listen, I don't know if you're taking shots at me. I don't understand the context of your your DM. Like, can you explain this a little more? And then she'd be like, oh, it's just a joke. Like, I wasn't trying to like be mean or nothing like that. It was like genuinely a joke. And they could have met up and talked this out and like definitely got this resolved without taking it to social media and making it worse than what it already was. But she didn't do that. She, like I said, she, she, she leaked the DMs and labeled her homophobic. Um, like I said, if you, if you've been following my channel for any amount of time, you know how, you know where I stand with all of this, you know, I still wanted to do a video over it though. And I have been labeled homophobic. I am heterosexual and I've been labeled homophobic simply for just stating that I'm a Christian. So the whole thing with people being so quick to, you know, it's like take red caution tape and paint it over you and say that you're a homophobic just because you're not in agreement with their lifestyle or because you're something else or because you said something that maybe they found offensive it's getting old it's immature and I feel like that's exactly what happened she took what Amanda said out of context and and again she ran with it and she went to social media she leaked the dms like I said it was very immature it's something that should have never happened like if she dm'd her it should have stayed in the dms I could see if she contacted her through like the video that she posted um because she did post a video after you know Amanda dm'd her and she like I said she seemed pretty offended she was saying like basically this you know celebrity like did this and I'm you know showing you so that like people can't get away just because of their status for doing stuff like this and I'm like ma'am you only made it worse by exposing it like you should have left it in the dms like I said where it was to begin with only leaking them and making that big of a deal about it just made it that bigger of a deal and again like Amanda said in her video response just like you have the freedom of speech and you getting paid to write, you know, write these critical, you know, words about movies. People have the right to say, I thought that your criticism was stupid. And then it's not even a criticism because we all know that Hollywood is always exploiting people. Even Amanda in the video, which, you know, broke my heart, said that she has been getting objectified and sexualized in Hollywood because of her boobs since she was a teenager so this is something that she's been going through for years and what she didn't need is another person saying oh well I think the movie was basically just you know a cleavage advertisement like they don't always control what they get to wear in those movies and I'm not trying to make it seem like they just have you know they're just you know slaves to the movie producer and they just you know get to do they can't do whatever they want to but if you know you know that some of these these actresses and actors they don't always have 100 percent control over what they get to wear in a movie they get sexualized and objectified and it's not something that they just want this is hollywood now she did say in her video that the tube top or the the tank top rather was something that her and the costume designer settled on because they felt like it represented the character the best. Now, like I said, you know how I stand with this. I'm not in favor of women being objectified or sexualized in the music industry or the movie industry. Although, like I said before, there's not always 100% control over what goes down. This is a secular industry. Things like this happen. So this is what I have to say about her comment. If you can't watch a movie without being distracted because because let's just be honest if it was that if it was so much of a deal that she wrote criticism over it then clearly she was distracted by it and if you can't watch a movie without being distracted by it that distracted by it then you have a problem obviously this is what comes with the territory of being a critic of secular movies in the secular movie industry you have to criticize movies that are you know blatant that are probably disrespectful that if you know the characters are being over sexualized this comes with the territory and i know she knew that that's all i'm gonna say about that but anyways like i said at the end of the day i feel like 
she did make a comment in jest that like I do believe it was in jest it wasn't to be disrespectful and it wasn't to it wasn't to take shots I don't think that she expected Amanda to have that kind of response and that that's what really prompted this response from Lena. She probably thought, oh, it's another person taking shots at me, thinking I'm looking at her boobs because, you know, she likes women. That's what I honestly think. I could be wrong. But like I said, she said it in jest. Lena took it the wrong way. She took it to social media, which I've said over and over and over again, they need to stop doing because every time they do it, it just blows up even worse. And it also backfired on her. And even in the article, it stated that what she did publicly reinforced a lot of negative stereotypes about black people. So like I said, there's a stereotype that black people are homophobic. And what she did basically reinforced that stereotype. And like I said before, I have been labeled homophobic for some of the dumbest reasons. Like in this day and age, you can't say anything without offending somebody or somebody taking it the wrong way and then blowing it out of proportion. And I don't want to like be rude, but this just seems like a stereotypical Karen situation. Like no offense to anybody named Karen. Like I really do feel bad for all the women named Karen out there because they're getting a bad rap because of the history of what has happened with the name Karen. But anyways, Amanda um, handled it very well. I'll, I'll say that. Uh, she handled it very well. Um, she did laugh, of course, about it because she was saying that she meant it in jest. It was just a joke. She didn't mean to offend anybody. And she handled it well. She, you know, she got on and she made a video because in these situations, I mean, she shouldn't have had to make one, but, you know, you got to cover your own butt in these kind of situations. So she made a video explaining her point and, you know, her side of the story. And she handled it well. She responded well. She could have went off. She could have cussed somebody out. She could have called names, but she didn't. She handled it very well. But anyways, uh, so... Like I said, I'm going to link um, or put the videos at the end of this video. And you guys can look at it if you want to, you know, see how you feel about it. And maybe I'm just overreacting. Maybe I'm just reading too much to the situation. Y'all let me know. Y'all tell me how y'all think in the comments below. Hi, haven't been on here in a while. Um, but I was just checking my Instagram DMs because uh, a really lovely, kind person informed me via those DMs that Jennifer's body is playing in 35mm at the Roxy <laughs> this weekend. If you're in New York, you should absolutely go to that. There are a disgusting amount of tickets left. Um, but I looked at my DM requests and found this, which I'm just going to let speak for itself for a little bit. For context, if you haven't seen, I reviewed Bodies, Bodies, Bodies for the New York Times and uh, really didn't like it and said so. Ironically praised the acting, though. Uh, I don't want anything else to come of this. I am devastated to have received this message in the first place. I was a genuine, huge fan of hers. But I'm posting it because I don't want this person who has more social power than me to think that it's fucking okay to do something like this. And that's all. I just thought I would get on here really quickly because I'm receiving a lot of uh <laughs> commentary on the internet for being a very naughty girl um and sending a dm that i thought was hilarious uh but basically there's this film critic her name is lena wilson and she writes the new york times and she wrote a criticism of a movie that i just had come out called bodies 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 uh, and she described in her review uh the movie as a 95 minute advertisement for cleavage um which i thought was hilarious <laughs> and i'm i'm proud that uh, that that a piece of work that i was part of uh was described as such in in such a renowned publication that is a really unique experience that i guess to have anyways um i dm'd lena and i said <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said, I said, great review. Maybe if you had gotten your eyes off my tits, you could have watched the movie. <laughs> All right, okay. Listen, I I thought it was I thought it was hilarious. I thought because Lena is gay, I am also gay. I thought that as gay people, we would both find this comment funny. I was also curious to know what Lena would say to such a statement. But Lena decided to publish it and uh, also says that I am homophobic 
for saying that. The intention of why I said that, and this is look, this is my experience as an actress. It's quite surprising. I mean, it shouldn't be surprising, I guess, at this point, but the amount of commentary that I receive on my boobs is so extreme. Uh, and this has happened since I was a teenager. I could literally be wearing a t-shirt, and just because of the size of my boobs, um, there will be some sort of sexualization or commentary on my chest. Uh, in this movie, I'm wearing a tank top, uh, and... I know that when I'm wearing a tank top, the result is there's going to be some cleavage because I have boobs. So I knew that this this comment was probably mostly directed towards me. And I think that Lena was trying to make a commentary about A24 sexualizing me, sexualizing my body, um, you know, exploiting young women um, in order to sensationalize them, to, to make their media more popular, which uh, I understand the angle. I I can tell you that the I wore this tank top in this in this movie because me and the costume designer thought that it fit the character well. Um, and so you know I do get tired of people talking about my chest. It, it seems to be in Hollywood, it's not normalized to to have boobs that are above an A or a B cup. Like, I, I, I've actually noticed this in my time as an actress. Um, and so there seems to be a lot of unwarranted conversation around my chest that just kind of baffles me. Anyways, Lena, um, I thought your review was hilarious. I thought my DM was funny. <laughs> uh, I did not mean to harass you. I do not wish you any harm. You are allowed to have your criticisms on my work and I'm allowed to have my criticisms of your work and that is a-okay with me um and I wish you th the best anyways um thank you guys thank any thanks to anyone who has gone to see our 95 minute uh advertisement for cleavage <laughs>